Hi, this is Kevin Flurge. I'm working on a project with Autumn Batani. Uh, we're talking about design and we're looking at uh, kind of designing some, some images and some background views. Um, and the goal is to show people how to do it in a variety of different platforms. So if you know me, I, I love PowerPoint. PowerPoint might not be the most powerful, might not be as powerful as Illustrator, but the one great thing about PowerPoint is pretty much everybody has access to it and everybody has some experience with it, for the most part. So uh, we're going to do um, this work in PowerPoint. Um, you see on screen, this is something that Autumn designed, and my goal is to design it in PowerPoint. She used a different tool completely. So we're going to walk through the whole thing and uh, design it piece by piece, and I'll struggle in areas because I don't do some of this stuff, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I am going to start by uh, designing this background. So I'm going to select it, come up to format, and remember this is hers. And I'm just going to see the size of it here. So it looks like it's seven. I thought it was a little bit bigger than that. So make it a little bit bigger. 7.5 and about 14. So first, when we go to this slide, make it a little smaller. I'm going to just drag everything and get rid of that. Insert a square. Pretty simple way to start. Uh, 7.5. I got it about right. 14. That'll do. Now, if we come up here to format, we've got these shape fills and shape outlines. I'm going to get rid of the outline. And now the shape fill is going to be tricky. So what I need to do is a gradient. I'm going to start out by kind of picking this color. So we pick that and come to format and I go to gradient. I'm going to go to gradient and more gradients. And I stink at gradients. So we'll see how I can do. It looks like because how I was working on this yesterday, it looks like it's got some of my things saved in here, but I'm going to just kind of get rid of a few things and maybe we can figure out how to do it. I'll just say that this was like this, something like that. So, we can add in these different stops to get different colors here, and I'm not really sure if I want to do that or not. Here, and let's see what happens. And like I said, I'm kind of just figuring out how to do this. Yeah, this was afraid I might need to pick another slightly lighter color. Yeah, that's kind of close. Let's see what she's got up here. This looks like this one's should be a little darker. I'm not sure that did anything. Yeah, I don't know. That's close. I don't know what transparency do. You know, I'm thinking about the gradients. This is kind of tough in PowerPoint. I don't use them very often, so I really feel like I don't have a clue what I'm doing. But um, if we we can change kind of the position. It'll kind of run that out. And, and uh, I wonder if we just need to add something in here. Maybe that's somewhat of a transition between these two colors. I don't know what that would be. Maybe something like that. Changing as we go? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe something like that. We're going to go with that, okay? So it's close not great again I don't do gradients very often so it's a little bit tricky for me next element I'm going to start with this is this, this gray and it does look like it's semi-transparent so it's look like there's a little bit behind the uh, behind this, uh, this little window here and if you hear noise in the background it's my family my my daughter and my wife are watching the bachelorette it's Monday so it's bachelorette day or bachelor day all right I'm, I'm not I'm gonna, if you, we grab this, you, you can kind of see it gives us a cross hatch there and it tells us that that's centered. So right, again, I'm going to get rid of the outline. almost never had outlines. And I'm going to use maybe, I don't know. I'm just going to come over here and maybe just color pick it. I'll leave this element out here. There's probably a better way of doing it, but let's color pick that. And it looks like there's a little bit of transparency, so this this format shape is over here. If we if we didn't didn't have that window up, we can just get a format shape. 
get a little bit of transparency so it looks like it shows through just a little bit kind of like she did also looks like her, her curve or you know curved edges aren't nearly as, as extreme as mine so if we click on this we get this little yellow uh, little, uh, circle there we can kind of just drag that out make it a little you know, pretty similar to what she's got okay again I think her backgrounds a little darker than mine but I think we're all right, let's just start with these circles. I think I'm gonna just, I, th I think people are just putting their image in there. So let's just do a really simple circle. I'm gonna probably just do this. Shape fill, eye drop. I think we already did this, but, and shape outline. I'm gonna make it maybe this gray here. Maybe a little, a little thicker. I'm just gonna copy that, paste it. Yeah, this is not going to be identical, but it'll be close. Now, one thing to note, if I do this, it'll kind of get this elliptical look. If I hit shift, it'll get a nice one-to-one -one aspect ratio. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to bring in a picture of myself here. So I think that's what they wanted us to do. And I'm not really sure how to get an outline around that circle. I can get an outline around the square, but not the circle. So I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to pop it right in the middle there. I'm going to use my mouse wheel to scroll in and get it. It's kind of wanting to snap into place, and I don't want it to. All right. I think that'll do for now. Let's look at else, what else she's got. She's got a few little icons here. I'm probably just going to end up copying this, this circle if I can grab it. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Let's copy that. Let's paste it down. PowerPoint does a really good job allowing you to snap things into place. So it lines it up really well for you. See that? Neither of these have the outline. So we're just going to get rid of the outline. All right. It's got a little text to home there, so let's insert text box and home. She told me that she was using Gilroy. She got that as purple. So I'm not really sure which one that is, but we'll do that. We'll make it quite a bit smaller. And then we come up to format and text effects. We can do this transform. stretch it we can make it larger it'll kind of have more of a stretch we'll make it smaller let's try and see what that looks like that's okay it's not perfect again but i think that'll work and um, then she's got little icons in here i think i'm gonna draw these but for the house i'm not gonna draw it i'm just gonna go grab an icon from the noun project that's make over Monday data earlier so let's go here I've got an account for this it's like 40 bucks now when I do like edit image editing now I typically do it in a, in a program called paint.net I do with this kind of you know building images and backgrounds and stuff in PowerPoint but uh, oftentimes I use paint.net for fills and stuff like that so I'm just gonna copy that paste it in there just so I have the color. Oh, wait a minute, I got this as gray. So let's, let's, let's see what I want. I want that to be a little bit of a white. So let's do fill. There it is. Oddly disappeared on me. So you want this to be a little gray. Oops, I'm not sure what I did that. Let's see. color for white and escape switch it around that is not maybe not exactly but it would work and I'm just gonna uh, select that and then I'll hit control X and copy it just fit it in there Let's zoom in kind of 
guide me there. So that looks not exactly like hers, but pretty close. And then we have these like two little circles and then three circles and lines. It's, um, First, put a little drop shadow on there. So we get a format shape effects. We get shadow, and I'm just gonna pick this one. Nothing big. I'm just gonna use the exactly like it is. I probably should have copied that, but we'll do that. So we got a little drop shadow. And I'm gonna draw a couple of circles. Get rid of the outline. Pop that there. Let's see what she did. Granulate it up with this picture off Twitter, so hers is a lot higher res than that. Copy that. You know what? Let's not copy that. Let's do shape fill and just eye drop that. I think she did these as transparents. And hers like actually holes in there, but I'm gonna totally cheat. I think that's good enough. Maybe a little bit smaller on that. Hold shift while I do this so we get that aspect ratio of one. That's pretty cool. That looks good. We're going to do these little dots and lines here, kind of like a hamburger menu. Got a little bit smaller. I'm going to scroll out a little bit. I think these need to go to the left a little bit. So I'm just going to select everything. In the Illustrator, if you just kind of go like this, it'll select whatever that, you know, whatever part you select. In this, you have to select the whole thing. So if I just drag it like this, it's only going to draw, select these circles. So I can just move those over. All right. I think next we'll put in these um, little boxes here. So it'll be pretty simple. Let's come up here and color pick this again. I'm going to just do some shape I need here and then I drop, get rid of the outline. Like that. And we'll put that in. Just kind of eyeballing it again. Not really worried about it being exactly like hers, but kind of just similar. Does make it a little wider when you when you make them bigger. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Shrink that up. All right. Not exactly the same, but pretty close. I think these are a little closer to the same size than I have. Do, uh, let's do this little header up here. I'm just going to go to shape. I'm going to pick this, this rectangle just like I have been. I'm going to stretch that out. And or like I said it before, we pick this little yellow. We can make this nice, nice rounded rectangle. So let's put that up top here. I think it's a little tall. Again, PowerPoint does a nice job of kind of putting that into place. Right about that. We're gonna get rid of. Oh, wait a minute. She's got a white outline, right? So she's got a white outline. Just a little bit of an off-white shape fill. Yes. I've kind of lost what colors it is, so I'm just gonna use that. We can start typing in here, but then sometimes it just doesn't seem to line up properly. So I tend to just use my own text. And what did it say?
personal finance dashboard. Make that bold. She might be using a different font for this. I'm basically going to stretch these this text window to the edge of this this uh, little, little button looking thing, and then I'm just going to center up the text. It's not the exact same font, but let's try something that's got a little more depth to it. That'll work. All right, and these three are exactly the same. I'm just going to copy this and kind of do the same thing, but it looks like it's got a little bit of a lighter um, text and lighter um, outline, so. Looks like these also now I look at it have a, a little drop shadow in there too. So let's go um, shape effects shadow. I think we'll just use this and looks like hers is a little more blurred, a little lighter. I extend out a little further. So let's let's format this. Let's do. I always just go to the effect shape shadow shadow options, and then it gives you all these different things. So let's make it size a little bit bigger. I don't think we want it that big. Maybe we just do it by that angle. Come down a little bit. Maybe some more blur. Maybe a lighter color. That's definitely too light. Definitely lighter though, isn't it? Shape effects, shadow, more shadow options, um, maybe more transparency. Yeah, I think that might get us closer. Probably a little too much. Yeah, that's close. Now, I probably should have copied that. Let's just do that. I'm just going to totally cheat. Plop it over the top of it. You can see me do that. Now, and uh, PowerPoint doesn't really have layers, but you can definitely, just like in Tableau, you can bring it to the front or bring it to the back. So we're going to. I'm going to grab these and bring these to the front so they come up ahead of them. That looks about right. And I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. Just bring these to the front. Copy this. The reason I'm doing this is just trying to get the same shadow so I don't have to try to figure out exactly all the settings I use for the shadow and I shouldn't have, should have done that before. All right, now I'm bringing it to the front. Okay, so we got that little drop shadow in there. Again, not exactly the same, but we're pretty close. I think these are too rounded. All these need to be a little less round. This is too tall too. There we go. You see that little dotted line showing us where we're at. Let's see if this one's right too. All right, that's good. Maybe it touched the more this way. Yeah, I think it's right. All right. Um, let's do um, these little boxes here. And then we'll do the text at the top. And we'll be pretty darn close to being done. I'm going to do the same exact thing. We, just, we do use a lot of these same shapes. I use a lot of these in everything I do. These sort of rounded rectangles use them for buttons and for all kinds of things and this is a great use case for it so you're gonna shape fill with that no outline I don't think she has any sort of 
shadow on that. I'm just going to copy that a couple of times. We might have to sort of fiddle with. It's a little tall, so let's see if we can do. I just hit Control and just select them all. I'm just going to kind of drop them down a little bit. I think that's pretty good. And she just got some text here. I think the only thing left is to um, add some text in this little arrow. So let's do that. I'm just going to pick that. All right, it's driving me crazy. All right, it needs to be lighter. More colors. I'm just going to lighten this up a little bit. It's this color pick of the background, but it's just lightened up. And then if I select all these, should. It's not doing it. Right, that looks more like hers. Okay, and the last thing is some text up at the top, and I think it says filter dashboard by year, and it's got a little arrow. I'm just going to copy the text. We have the font and everything we need. It's not the exact color, so I'm going to color pick that purple. Filter dashboard by year. Stretch that out. And to draw a little arrow, zoom in a little bit. Going to draw like sort of this partial circle, this little shape here. Kind of draw it out like that. We can make it more rounded, or we can just kind of cut it off. That's all I'm going to do is cut it off. Put it over here. Let's make the outline this color, and I think you might be able to make it an arrow shape. Yeah, we could do that. I don't really like it though. Um, so I'm gonna draw my own, I'm gonna make it my own arrow. But sometimes zooming in is kind of a pain. I use control in the mouse wheel, but sometimes it doesn't put you where you want it. And I'm just gonna add a little triangle. I'm gonna hold shift, get rid of the outline, and shape fill the purple, and hold shift and just rotate it around. I think that's a nicer looking arrow than the one that's already in there. 